Hello and welcome to the new Faculty Orientation Foundations in Adult Instruction course. My name is Ekaterina Stoops and I am your course facilitator. In this video, I will give you a very quick tour of the course and I will show you how to navigate various parts of this course. When you log in the new faculty orientation, the very first page you will see is the announcements page. I will be um, recording and posting announcements uh, regularly every week. So I would like to encourage uh, you to check this page, the announcements page, every time you log in the course. So I will be posting uh, video announcements and just uh, just uh, regular um, announcements almost, uh, well, twice a week for sure, and maybe even three times a week. So please check the announcements every time you log in the course. Uh, the next page that um, we will explore is uh, course information. So here on the left side of your course, you will see a menu with various links. So the very first link that I would like you to review uh, is course information. So let me uh, click on this link and uh, what you will see uh, you will see the orientation video and also uh, other links such as syllabus and course schedule and other uh, important course information. Before you start working on your course assignments, please watch this video and also review the course syllabus and course schedule. These links, these documents contain very important information about the course, the course assignments, the due dates, and requir requirements and policies for this course. After you review all this information posted on the course information, then the next page that um, I would like you to review is uh, faculty information. And this is... Um, um, so this is me, um, Ekaterina Stoops, there is my uh, photo, biography, also I posted when I am available and how quickly I will respond to your emails. If you have any questions about the course, about the course assignments, please email me, that's the best way to connect with me, and I will respond within 24 hours during the week, and then within 48 hours um, on the weekend. And we also have other uh, course facilitators, so and their information is posted on this page as well. The next link that we will explore is course modules. Course modules is actually where all your course content, your course assignments, course pages are posted. If I click on this link, what I will see is a list of all modules. There are four weeks. It is a four week online course and there are four uh, modules corresponding with each week. So the first module is week one, getting oriented to teaching at CityU. Then the next module next week, week two, taking a closer look at city use academic model. Week three, finding the core the route to city U exemplary courses, uh, sorry, practices. And the last final week is week four, arriving at your destination, your first class. So four weeks, four modules. Let's look at the first module, week one module, and actually every week, every module is uh, structured similarly. We're not going to go over each week, we'll just take a look, a closer look at the first two weeks. Because as I said, <clears throat> the all uh, modules, all weeks are structured basically the same way. What you will see is um, course outcomes and the due dates. We have four uh, outcomes for this course. And what we also, well, I, I would like to actually mention that what we really emphasize at CDU for each course is the alignment between course outcomes 
and module objectives. We also, so we make this information transparent in all our courses. And also, we emphasize the alignment between course outcomes, uh, module objectives, and the assignments that students need to complete each week. So we um, emphasize this. We really um, think it's important in, in each course, whether it's online or mixed mode or face-to-face. -face. And we have a, a similar structure in this um, course as well. Um, foundations in adult instruction. So you will see in every module is uh, the due dates and the uh, list of activities that you will need to work on each week. Um, this is just a general information about the week. To open this module and actually look at the items and the assignments that you need to go over each week, you will need to click on the link. So you can see that this is the link, it acts as a link and it you know, looks like a link. Just click on this week one, getting uh, oriented to teaching at CityU link. And you will see this uh, week's content, all the pages, all assignments, all activities that you will need to work on this week. Each uh, week, each module starts with the overview information and then um, this section, module objectives, uh, as I already explained, we emphasize the alignment between course outcomes and module objectives and also the list of activities that you will need to work on this week. So the very first activity is the welcome to new faculty orientation webinar. So we will be uh, offering this webinar on Monday um, and we will be using Collaborate Ultra to um, conduct this webinar. To find the link to the webinar, you will need to actually go back to the menu and click on this link Quick Links Collaborate, okay? So let's click on this link. And then the next uh, link uh, you will need to click on is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is the platform we use for all our webinars uh, at CityU. Just click on this link and wait just for a few seconds. And um, so I'm recording this video before the course actually begins. But um, what I will do as soon as the course starts, I will create uh, collaborate uh, uh, rooms and I will post the links to each collaborate room or session here on this page. So if you choose to attend a webinar in the morning, then you will just click on the link that says welcome to new faculty orientation and then morning session. So you'll click on that link. If you choose to participate in the evening, you will click on the link that says evening session. So this link will, links will be posted here. Okay, how do I get back to the modules? to the modules and the content and the assignments that you will need to work on during the first week. Well, to go back, you will need to click on this uh, link, course modules again, right here. And um, you'll be back to the modules and that page that has all four modules listed. To go back to your module one, week one, Again, you will need to click on week one, getting oriented to teaching at CityU link. Okay, other assignments that and activities that you will need to work on uh, this week. Introduction to teaching and learning in Blackboard course. Okay, so new faculty orientation program consists of two courses. So the first one is the one we are actually um, looking at now, and that's called Foundations in Adult Instruction course. I will be facilitating this course. But then you will also, simultaneously, you will also be taking another course, and it's called Introduction to Teaching and Learning in Blackboard. 
this will be a separate course that you will actually need to log in through Blackboard. You will have the link listed on your Blackboard dashboard. And it is a separate course and you will have another coach, not me, another coach who will be working with you. Basically, you will be, uh, during this four weeks, you will be working on two separate courses. And uh, Foundations and Adult Instruction course has due dates and activities that I do um, on a specific time. And then Introduction to Teaching and Learning in Blackboard course will also have due dates and assignments. We would like to encourage you to start working on introduction on the Introduction to Teaching and Learning in Blackboard course right away. So you will have three weeks to complete this course. And again, you will have a Blackboard co coach who will be working with you just to make sure that you, if you have any questions, your questions are answered. You will also get an email from your Blackboard coach with the instructions how to get started with that course. Again, you will have three weeks to complete this course. And while you're working on the introduction to teaching and learning in Blackboard course, you also need to work on the assignments from the foundations in adult instruction. Okay, going back to um, foundations in adult instruction course. So the next activity that you will need to um, uh, complete is introductions. So basically you'll post your introduction, I respond to your colleagues and engage in a discussion. The next one is group uh, activity. In this course, we have group activity, which is one of the major assignments for this course. So you will be working in groups to review in an online course. So, um, and you will start uh, working with your group uh, right away. So starting now, basically. I'm not going to go over um, this activity that much because we actually have a separate video in instructions that will uh, help you get started with your group work. But this is something that you, need, you also need to uh, start working on uh, during your first week. Then uh, you also uh, have a course, ma course delivery manual for instructors that you will need to review in a corresponding quiz. Um, uh, actually, I do want to spend just a few minutes showing you how to take a quiz. Um, so you can see that week one quiz uh, is a link. And if you click on this link, then the, you will see the instructions and also this button, begin button. And that's how you will start your quiz. You will need to click on begin button and um, you will be able to take the quiz. Okay. Now, if I scroll all the way down, um, so what you will see, if you scroll all the way down, you will see the link to your week two module. At the end of each week, you will see um, that there is a link to the next module. It's just I added this link to ease the navigations. Basically, instead of going back to course modules, you can click on week two and uh, start working on your week two assignments. But if you do want to go back to the course modules, obviously you will need to click on the course modules link and then you will be directed back to that page where you have all four modules listed. Okay, let's go over uh, your week two module very quickly. And again, to open this module, you will need to click on the link, week two, taking a closer look at CityU's academic model. And again, as uh, with week one, um, you will see the overview page, uh, overview um, information, overview of this week, then objectives for this week, and uh, a list of activities. Then you will see the link that looks like a module that tells you that it's a module. Actually, this icon tells you that it's a module. 
um, folder, sorry, it's a folder, not module, it's a folder, and there is uh, there are items, other items within this folder. So click on this link, and you will see that within this, this folder there are uh, several items, and you will need to review them, watch this videos, and then at the end, very end, there is a blog assignment that you will need to complete. So this is a blog assignment or blog activity. Let's just go over um, this blog assignment just to, and I'll show you how to uh, post your blog um, uh, entry. Again, you will see that this is the link and you will need to click on this link. And then there is instructions and to post your blog entry, you will need to click on this button, create blog entry. And then you will see it, uh, that um, you will need to type in a title for your blog entry and the actual blog entry. And then when you're ready to post, you will need to click on post entry. So I'm not going to post anything right now, I'll just click on cancel. Okay. So that was the blog activity. Okay, to go back to my week two modules, just click on course modules again, and then week two link. Okay, then the next set of activities is um, strategies for facilitating effective discussions. Again, there are instructions, there are links that you will need to review. There is a um, uh, storyline scenario that you will need to complete and then at the end you will see an assignment so the assignment is titled strategies for facilitating discussions and um, again to get started with this assignment you will need to click on the link um, and it is highlighted in blue so it acts like a link we are done with uh, this module, so to go to uh, week three module, you can click on the link or you can just go back to mock course modules and navigate to module three that way. I'm not going to do that now because um, basically module three and four are structured very similarly. And once you open this modules, you'll see detailed instructions for each assignment. Now, the um, two other links that I would like to explore is this, D uh, is uh, discussion board link and then assignments tests link. So let, let's click on discussion board link um, first. Here under this link, you will see a list of all discussion board activities that you will be working on in this course. And they're not necessarily uh, posted in the um, sequential order. Uh, this is just a quick link for you to uh, look at all discussion forums. Um, you will see that there are several discussions that you will be working on. I actually want to spend just a few minutes um, and highlight the importance of questions and answers forum. So at CDU, in every course, we uh, include this questions and answers discussion forum. And the purpose of this forum is for students to post any questions that they have about the course they're taking. And what we also encourage is instead of waiting for their uh, instructor to respond to the questions, uh, other students can chime in and uh, provide the answers. So it's really um, a way to engage students. So we are introducing the same, uh, this um, forum, basically the same way we do this in every class at CityU. Um, Questions and Answers uh, Forum. So if you, you can see that this title is actually a link. So if you click on this link, you um, and then create thread, then you will be able to post a question that you have. And again, the goal of this forum is not necessarily for the instructor to respond to every single question that you will post, but 
for also for your colleagues to check this forum regularly and to see if you know if you know the answer you can also respond and maybe also if uh, one of you have the uh, question that you also have you know um this way we're not like you know duplicating questions um so it's just for everyone to see and respond to so once you're ready to submit your so you'll type in the subject and the question or comment and then when you're ready to post you will need to click on the submit button Okay, I'll just go back to this uh, discussion board um, uh, forums um, place area in um, in the course. Um, as you can see, these are all discussions that you will be working on this week. These are just the discussions. Um, if you want to see um, all items, all content, and um, uh, of this course in the sequential uh, order, obviously you will need to go to course modules link. So that's the place where all your content is located. So this is just a link for the discussions. Now there's also a quick click link for assignments and it works the same way as a discussion board link. Now only the assignments that um, I just added for your convenience. So there's um, lots of assignments. So they that includes blog assignments and other types of assignments. So there is a lot. So if you just want to look at the assignments very quickly and uh, you can use this link. But again, if you want to look at all the course content in the sequential order, you will need to work uh, to click on the course modules link. Okay. The next link that I would like to explore is my grade. This is where your grade will be posted. Um, obviously, right now you don't see any grades because this course isn't, hasn't started. This is actually the master shell that um, um, we have master shells and we have live shells. So for each live course, we have a master course. And this is the master course. Once you submit your assignments, uh, then you will see a grade posted here. Also, what is important um, in addition to the grade, um, the rubric. Uh, each assignment has a corresponding rubric. Before you start working on a specific assignment, um, I would like to encourage you to review the rubric first. So this uh, rubrics will sh will tell you how it will be evaluating your uh, submissions. So there are uh, grades um, that are associated with each uh, assignment, each discussion forum, and there are rubrics that are also associated with each um, activity in this course. So review the rubrics before you uh, start working on your uh, course um, assignments. Also, uh, once I post uh, grades, so you'll see your grade here and you will also see my feedback. So it will appear um, as a bubble speech icon. So you'll just see this little bubble speech icon that will um, tell you that um, that you also um, that I posted my feedback in addition to um, um, a grade. Uh, please read my feedback. Sometimes I will ask you to resubmit or, you know, I just share some I, um, comments and uh, important information through my feedback. And I think this is all I wanted to show you in this video. So again, that was just a quick overview of the course and how to find various uh, part, uh, elements of the course. And I also have some other videos that I recorded specifically for um, some assignments. And um, some assignments do have those videos, some assignments don't. So just if you see that uh, a certain assignment has a video associated with, uh, with it, so just make sure that you watch the video first before you start working on that assignment. And that is all for now. Again, um, thank you very much for 
watching this video i look forward to working with you and if you have any questions the best way to connect with me is via uh, email and my information is posted under faculty information and also in the course uh, syllabus under course information